In lesson two, we introduce the chi-squared distribution. Note that the x has changed slightly. It's now more curved uh, x representing uh, chi. So it's the chi-squared distribution. Uh, we're going to see in this lesson how the chi-squared distribution can be used to approximate goodness of fit. Okay, so there is a subtle difference between this letter chi uh, and uh, the letter x used for goodness of fit that you need to be um, aware of. So the chi-squared distribution uh, is uh, a family of probability distributions. So it's a probability distribution like the normal, uh, etc. Uh, and it is a family of probability distributions that's made up from the sum of the squares of a set number, say k, of independent standard normal distributions. So it's basically the sum of uh, a number of different z uh, standard normals squared. Okay. And that's just the definition of what the chi-squared distribution is. Uh, if we look at the um, what it looks like, depending on the number of normal distributions that we square and add together, the chi-squared dis distribution takes a different shape. So the graph above shows uh, what the, uh, the chi-squared looks like for different values of k. These k values over here uh, just represent the number of um, observations, number of different uh, standard normal distributions we've added together uh, to get our chi-squared distribution. Okay, um, so really what you need to know about the chi-squared distribution is it is a probability distribution that exists in statistics that is formed from the sum of k standard normal distributions squared. Okay, that's what it is by definition. It has an expected value of k, and it has a variance of 2k. These are just um, details. You don't really need to use the expected value and the variance very often for a chi-squared distribution, uh, but it's just to complete its uh, definition. Um, okay, and again, uh, not hugely relevant for what we do, but the larger the value of k, the more closely the chi-squared distribution itself starts to look more normal in its uh, shape, as you can see from the, uh, the red graph there for k is equal to 9. It's looking more normal in shape than uh, the others. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, what's this chi-squared distribution got to do with goodness of fit? So first of all, just appreciate the chi-squared distribution is uh, a family of probability distributions made up as described that exists in statistics. Okay, that's its relevance for now. If we now start to consider its relevance to goodness of fit, okay, it is really, I suppose, uh, a convenient application of the chi-squared distribution, uh, providing certain conditions are satisfied. We'll come to those later. It can be used as a good approximation to our goodness of fit statistic. Okay, so it's actually the case uh, if these conditions are satisfied that um, our goodness of fit calculation does approximate quite closely to our chi-squared distribution uh, for certain conditions. And the good thing about that is the chi-squared is an actual distribution with probabilities associated with it and therefore critical values and significance levels. Um, and therefore, this enables us to perform a hypothesis test on goodness of fit. Um, okay, so that's its importance and the connection uh, between the two.